Well, g'day and welcome. Thanks for joining us. It's good to have you back here. We're down at College Rifles on what can only be described as a glorious Saturday morning in Auckland. And it's, it's finals day. It's club finals day. Uh, wrapping up a bit earlier this season, obviously with the World Cup coming up, we've uh, got to get our stuff over and done with so the big show can appear. Welcome to the uh, all of you viewing in the IRB, FIFA, and of course the Canadian Rugby Football Union. Great to have you guys on board. I hope you enjoy this brand Jamo Commotion TV production. We're going to be focusing on the under-19s today. It's uh, Most of these guys, one or two years out of school, still very talented, very skillful, and it's sort of the leftover players that didn't get lost to the game after school. So looking to get things underway, we've got uh, big Stephen Hung as the referee. It's a third year referee, former player who had trends of becoming an all-black until he was involved in a... Uh, Rather questionable rifle incident down in Rotoria. Rifles get things underway in the kickoff. Scotty Martin, he puts it just beyond the 10 metres, and uh, Papatoni there guilty of uh, infringing the runners by the look of it. And early chance to get some points on the board for Rifles. Well, they couldn't have wished for a much better uh, start to the match than that, Stu. Absolutely, and that gives Scotty Martin a chance. He's the club's top point scorer with 120. He's got a deadly right boot. So, uh, it's going to be an exciting game. Conditions are perfect for some free-flowing free rugby. Lines it up, takes a shot, turns his back. He's happy with it. TJ's put the flags up. 3-0 rifles after one minute. <laughs> Ideal start for the home team, and the crowd's going completely barnard. Back, I saw a Colivanua. Rifles meant to retain position. Back into the midfield of Scotty Martin. He decides to set a bit of a target for his loose force. But good work there by Papatoui. They got over from the bridge, and Scotty Martin, a bit guilty of holding on too long there, and... Uh, Referee Stephen Hunger. No, no crimes about chucking the right hand up, blowing the whistle and saying, chance to make it through your Papatoi, what will you do? They'll be having the shot at goal, no doubt about that, Jama. Henry pa Panui, the uh, first five there for Papatoi, lining up his kick. We'd also like to welcome all you viewers in the UK, uh, especially those who are going through pretty tough times in London town there. Sort those rat bags out. There's no need to trash a city. Takes the kick, lines it up, straight through the middle. Three plays three after two minutes. Another small chip option by Rifles, but it's been regathered by the 10 for, uh, for Kyle Rifles and Cameron James. He looks for some support, finds it in Joe G, the centre. He's got options left and right now, the halfback. Harry Happy Hands Hannon, penalty coming. Not quite sure what happened there. I think it might have been entering from the side. Of course, uh, for those of you who are familiar with the game, you have to enter from directly square to the, to the breakdown situation. One of the Papato players adjudicated coming from a slight angle there, and... Uh, Referee's given a, another chance for Scotty Martin to this break the deadlock. Here he is. Scotty Martin right in front. Too easy for the record point score from College Rifles. Six plays three, and that's 126 points for the season so far. Trips a few more metres. Real pressure here for Rifles. Papatone looking for some quick ball. The big man goes himself. Falls just short. Fourth try to push him over. That was, of course, Andrew Saria, the number five, the, the lock there from Papatoe going close. As Ford's drive over, they'll be very careful to make sure they're not touching the ruck when they pick this ball up, or you might see a penalty. Referee's unsighted. Now they go right. Big skip pass coming out to the right wing, but Timothy Ugala. And there you go, folks. Those of you at home that want to know how to blow a certain try, do that. Good going out there, and, uh, you know, we're um, expecting to, um, to have a good win out there today. Troops, tough, but... troops are all fired up. Yeah, we, we trained all right during the week. You know, we've got a few guys who um, have decided to have an uh, early end of the season. Oh, that's to get back to us. It's a break in the midfield by Joji Kurosula. Finds his right winger, Angus Gibson, for the corner. Oh, ho, ho! Cover defence 101. That's how you do it. Balls and all by the 15. Jeremiah yeah. Latana. Push on the line out. Our ball. Yeah, we've got a lot going on here today, a lot going on at Rifles. Uh, of course, on the, on the main ground, we've got the uh, reserves playing, College Rifles hosting Roscoe Districts, and it's the, the visit. Is it? Manicow. Is it? Okay, well, there you go. It's Manicow, and they're leading 7-5 over the hosts. Uh, on, back on the moment, we've got to try. There you go. You turn your back, you miss the points, and that's Mr. Utility, a Kayla Bukatika. Not the usual number eight. The uh, usual number eight decided not to turn up today. Conversion opportunity, adding the extra two points. Too easy, Scotty Martin. Adds another two points to the season total. 128, a club record for the season. Of 
Of course, uh, it's been the under-19 final. Most of the players out there won't be much older than 18. And uh, it's good to see the enthusiasm of these young guys still committed to the game we all love. Many of them, when they leave school and lost to the game, they tend to go off the rails a bit. Top goal attempt. Rubbish. Saw the advantage. Purely Papatoe. As I say, a lot of the players, when they leave school, they lost to a game. They get sidetracked by gateway drugs and easy woman. But it's good to see these guys sticking to their guns and showing the commitment. The bodes well for the future of rugby. So a bit of peace and quiet, making sure the guys are behind him. Lines it up, puts it on the toe, turns his back, he's happy. The manager gives it the fist pump and 13 plays six and that's half time. College rifles. So it's the final. It's the Challenge Cup's up for grabs. The under-19 Auckland Club Championship final. So happy hands, Harry Hannon there, the halfback there, slapping the bums of his forward, saying, get in there, boys, get in there, push it up. And they're, they're responding in kind. This is a great move. They've made about 15, maybe 20 metres already. They've got the ball secured at the back. Papato's doing all sorts to muck it up. Legitimately or otherwise, the referee's seen something that he didn't agree with, so he's held his arm out. They're a bit rough side. Just get past to Scotty Mullen. Out to the fullback. One man to bed. He's going one-on-one. Look at the feed. Goes himself. Steps inside. Try. Ho, ho, ho. Jonathan Lichter, the man they call Hannibal. Five points right in front of your eyes. There you go, the first little bit of action. You see it on the replay. Good ball out to Scotty Martin, the second five and kicker. He was under a bit of pressure from the rushing defence. Passing off his right shoulder, so not the natural way for a right-hander to pass. Had his target bang in the bread basket and Johnny Lester, one man to beat, gave a dummy, gave a little step and crossed for five points. Ho, ho! 18 plays 6. Yes, uh, Scotty Martin, the second five here. Got the kicking duties again. Uh, he's actually got the club record this year for points. And he puts that one gently over. Adds another two to his tally. <laughs> 20 plays 6. A few sniping opportunities here for rifles. They seem to have found a little gap just out inside that first channel between, say, where the open side flank and the eight would usually cover. And... Uh, they should get themselves in a bit of trouble here, but uh, oh, a nice little run round option. Scotty Martin. Martin onto Johnny Lester, the try scorer. He puts a step on, goes left, goes right, puts it on his toe, charge down. We get it by the winger. We see the ball. Listen, five. Oh, 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 Hannibal Lecter. Tied up well by the nine. Some great cover to fifth by C. Minor Shuff. But Rifle's still with an opportunity. Looking for some quick ball. They're all offside. The referee's seen them. It's the Canadian Noah Barker. Noah Barker to Scotty Martin. Scotty throws an intercept pass. Cynical foul by Rifles. Referee's caught a penalty. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for a pocket. Wow. Not the most effective clearing kick and a chance for Papatone to open it up. What's he going to do? He has a look. He finds his halfback. He beats okay. one tackler. Try to an opportunity if they can go wide and hold onto it. Out to the 20, out to the base, Munya Patrick Kalamitsi goes to the corner! Gets there! Players go up, referee's hand goes up, five points go up on the scoreboard, 20 plays 11, kick to come. They did their best to bomb it, but uh, just got over the line in the end. Some suspicion that there might have been a little bit of a knock on, but uh, referee's called the five pointer. See, and he wasn't too impressed by that play. He's blown the whistle, that's full time, and the men of College Rifles have claimed their first bit of silver win in a number of years. Premiership win. The crowd's going absolutely Barnard. I'm going to go down sideline. We're going to try and have a chat to a few of the players and uh, coaches and what have you. We'll see if we can get some decent feedback for them. So, uh, didn't manage to walk away with the trophy, mate, but you must be happy with the way you, you guys stuck to the course right till death there? Yeah, it's been a long season. It's been a hard season. and We struggled to pull on the team at the beginning of the year, so to come all the way and make it to the finals is a big achievement for our team. Our club has never made the finals before. First um, time at under-19s or 21s team have made the finals, so got to start somewhere to start building back our uh, reputation at Pep, so it's good, good season. I'm disappointed we lost, eh, but... And you can't have everything your way, so, yeah. Yeah, no, indeed, there seems to be good team spirit amongst the guys, so pretty tight-knit unit. Yeah, well, the boys are, we all from yeah. Southside, so it's real close, all the boys live close together, so, yeah, I reckon the college rifles on the day, too good, eh? They were better, better side, so they deserve to win. Can't do much of it. Oh, congratulations on the season, mate, and uh, we'll catch up with you afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Riley. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, mate, uh, first bit of silverware for the club in a while. Yes. Just wanted this way, but to get away from the noise. Must be wrapped with the way the guys uh, performed out there today. Oh, stoked, absolutely stoked day. Whew, can't say enough, really. 18 out of 18, perfect season. You know, we accomplished a lot, and from the start, just keep getting better and better.
stoked. For, for a bunch of guys that, um, you know, obviously played against each other a couple of years ago at the secondary schools level, they seem to have come together well as a unit and the uh, camaraderie and spirit in the team was evident there today. Yeah, um, from the start we've really come together as a, as a crew, you know, we've been bowling and been to the movies and everyone's just become mates every week, we're together and we're just loving it, 21's next year. <laughs> Sounds good, Bunch, welcome to the future, mate, congratulations, yeah, club's really proud of you, Thank well done. You. So that's about it uh, from us on College Rifles. I hope you've been enjoyed today's presentation. It's been an honour brilliant to you, and thank you for taking the time to, to have a look. Thanks again to our uh, to the sponsors of the day, Buffett and Thompson, Genesis Fitness, Hawke's Bay Breweries. And, of course, this is a little bit of silverware the 19s have won today. Uh, that'll go into the trophy cabinet up here at College Rifles for another season. Uh, so to all of you out there, as I say, thanks for watching. Hope it's been fun. Uh, drive safe, have a nice day, and we'll see you back here next time we do something. I really don't know if this castle